Dude, what is going on? It's your boy Mad Gifted Hands, and I'm back to you with another haircut transformation. And as you can tell, this is a older video. However, it is still a dope transformation. And as you can tell by the thumbnail, my boy is is, is balding in the front, man. He's balding in the front, and I feel like nowadays barbers, it's our job to create a solution for a problem. And we have color enhancements nowadays that create these illusions and full hairlines for clients that are dealing with situations like this. Now it's nothing to knock him. This is my boy. So sometimes it's dope to have these type of clients that allow you to, cr to create these videos because I know he's not the only one that's going through this. There's a lot of people in this world that have receding hairlines or balding in the front of their hairlines at such a young age. So what we're gonna do, man, we're just gonna bring my boy back to life. What I went ahead and did was I did a number two against the grain on top and we are going to do a mid to high ball fade. And this is what my client asked for. I think it suits him very well. We did the shaver on the side so it, the ball fade lasts a lot longer and the gradient C is from light, medium to dark. Now, you can tell I'm using, you know, these these older but newer clippers as well. Um, and we did the shaver on the sides, but it's gonna be the same steps, guys. We, we started with the lever all the way open and then I put it in the middle and then close it. And as you could tell, this first panel is starting to erase itself because what you put that line in with is that's what you're gonna take it out with. So the highest guard is a number two. So the highest uh, guard that we're gonna use to blend into that number two is a one and a half guard. Yeah, so this video, you know, I'm back, I'm in the barber shop, so I did not go back to the shop. It's just an older video, so don't trip. <laughs> But you can tell I'm favoring a lot of the corners of that blade to blend that line out because sometimes if you create a uh, line that you can't get out with the shaver or the trimmer, um, you can use the corner of your blades, especially if they're zero gapped, to blend into that bottom panel. All right, so right here, I went ahead and take my one guard all the way open, so the lever is all the way open. And then we're gonna go ahead and start lightening this panel with the one and a half right so we do the one and a half and then we put the level the leveler lever my bad in the middle and then we're going to go ahead and close it as needed and that's not going to knock out this panel what's going to knock out this panel is the half guard and you always want to make sure you have a comb or a brush in the opposite hand because you can knock out any residue or excess hair and get it out the way and actually see what you're cutting into. So I'm cutting in different directions. I'm cutting against the grain, cross the grain. I'm making sure I'm feeding that hair into that guard. All right, so right here, whatever the one left behind, we're gonna take your half guard, your zero guard, depending on what type of clipper and system you are using. Since I'm using the wall premium guards, I use the uh, half guard. And then I take that half guard off and I take the lever, put it all the way open, and then I open and close it as needed to blend that, that panel out all the way. And guys, whenever I say you want to bleed these numbers into one another into another that's it's just like coloring and and mashing up colors right but you're doing it with guards you're doing it with hair and gradiency there's light and dark spots there's spots that you can get out with the lower guard or no guard uh, with the corners and favoring the corners of that blade and tilting your clipper in a certain direction and i feel like within time once you create a system within time, you can do these types of steps um, and small details like what I'm doing right now. So right now I have no guard on there, but I know what level is in that area. So I don't create myself another line or demarcation, but I am opening and closing that lever. 
All right, so first off, what I want to do is I want to create a little bit of hairspray or spray some hairspray to create some hold to his hairline so the whole the hair don't like fold back or move away from my trimmer. And then right here, I'm using the Coco trimmers. These things hit like Mike Tyson in the first round, first 30 seconds. And I'm basically creating a hairline. That way, whenever I apply the color enhancement, I have a pretty rough draft line and a pretty good detailed line to apply the color enhancements on. Now, when you do color enhancement, guys, you're not necessarily hiding a messed up haircut or a messed up fade. You want to enhance the haircut. You want to make it better, right? So when you know how to use color enhancements and use them the right way to where it's not running down the client's head or you know you see those those bad memes on instagram with color enhancement you, you gotta educate your client and let them know like that's just them being making jokes about it but i mean come on women wear makeup <laughs> there may be some women in the comment section coming after me but i mean women wear makeup guys this is this is good for our hairline good for our confidence good for a little bit of our insecurities um to him he really don't care too much about it but whenever we do do the color enhancement he loves it i mean and you're gonna see his reaction you're gonna see that he loves the color enhancement and, and so much that he's thinking about doing smp with one of the smp best smp artists in tampa florida my boy jesse lima and um i think it'll be dope for him it'll bring a lot of confidence confidence to him and he'll have his hairline back a full hairline and i feel like going to the right smp artist you're gonna get that nice crispy dark hairline that you've always wanted if you're dealing with some balding in your hairline like i said nowadays there's so many solutions to a problem that i feel like why not all right, so right here I'm using the uh, 245 no drip and I'm using the Sean Cuts Hair 245 enhancement card. And it has a different cutouts in there because you're able to get around the ears, uh, the hairline, the beard line, um, and even like the, the C cup area. So it's, it has different cutouts in there that you can utilize. And I'm spraying at a distance, I'm spraying with. Uh, not too much pressure on the air compressor gun and we're just filling in this hairline guys i'm literally following what i lined him up with already with the trimmer but you can already tell like it's starting to look full and i'm not going too dark i'm not making it look fake um and it's gonna last it's gonna last and i always tell my clients you it lasts as long as you let it so if you go home and shampoo and sh uh, scrub and use a towel and scrub it's gonna come out but if you just sit underneath the water and let the water hit it it'll just kind of like slowly fade away um for the most part people that do get color enhancement don't really go home and shampoo their hair and wash their hair out too thoroughly because they want this enhancements to last and as they should as they should and that's just you know from the barber to the client you got to educate them let them know that it, it is temporary but it can last like anywhere some clients um with kiss express it'll last up to about a week so it just depends on what type of color enhancement you use and how your client takes care of it this dude's a firefighter so he has a helmet he's always sweating and even with him being a firefighter it lasts a pretty while a pretty long time with him so i mean don't knock it till you try it and and if you if you're letting your barber do color enhancement on you make sure he knows what he's doing and he does it properly and does it the right way so it could last and that way it doesn't look fake But look at the gradient, see light, medium, dark. We're gonna apply a little bit of color enhancement right here. Just fill in that lightness, just so we can basically match the back of his hair to the front of his hair. You don't wanna take away from other areas. Then we're just gonna use a brush to brush that all in. 
do a little bit of last minute touch ups. Some detail work. But yeah, guys, I mean, this is pretty much a, a classic ball fade that you get a lot in the barbershop or in your, you know, in, in your clientele. And I feel like once you get this type of fade down, you can start adding some enhancement. Look at his reaction. He freaking loves it. Like, come on, man. This is like the best feeling ever. But yeah, I thought this was a dope video, dope concept. I had other videos lined up that I wanted to throw in before this one, but I feel like this one needs to reach the algorithm and reach a lot of people that are dealing with the same situation because it's not a bad thing. It can be an insecurity, especially to us young men, <laughs> you know, but there's there's solutions to it, guys. And it may be a temporary solution until you find a permanent solution. Like people going to Turkey, man, they going to Turkey and get hair transplants. Ages from 20 to 30, they're getting hair transplants and for cheap. So he's actually going to look more into the S&P side of it. But yeah, guys, this is pretty much the, the end of the video. I'm going to let y'all enjoy the uh, the final results. And um, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Like, share, comment. And uh, yeah, man, y'all y'all know, know what it is, Team Gifted. As always, Team Gifted. Stay gifted. Y'all have a blessed one, man. Love y'all. Thanks for the uh, getting back into the algorithm. Um, I'm here. I'm, I'm busting out content. And I'm um, hoping that you love the new content. And we're going to keep going, man. We're going to keep going. We're going to reach 200,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Hopefully. Hopefully. But I love y'all, man. Y'all stay blessed and uh, enjoy the final result. Peace.